This is part four in my quail gun experiments. I've made changes over the previous models with redesigned drive coils with fewer turns, a slightly heavier wire, and less than half the inductance of the previous coils. I've also changed the photo transistors for photodiodes, all for a faster response. So I will show you my results. So the first thing I did was make a new drive board. I'm using the LM311 comparator and the TC4422 driver chip on each stage. I'm using an Osram photodiode and they give a real nice output, real nice response. It's a major improvement over the photo transistors that I was using. The infrared emitters are still the same. The coils that I use on this are about an eighth of an inch longer than the previous ones. And I'm using a number 20 magnet wire over the previous 22. There's the charging supply board. There's the isolation diodes, charging resistors for the IGBTs. There is a row of current limit resistors, and that is for the infrared emitter supply. The first run will be with 100 volts on the IGBTs. One hundred and three feet per second. One hundred and forty volts. One oh seven point five. One hundred and seventy five volts in gives us one fourteen point three. We're not gaining much power out of this. Two twenty volts in. Just about a hundred and twenty feet per second. Two hundred and eighty five volts. One hundred and twenty five feet per second. Three hundred volts on the IGBT stage gives us one twenty seven point four feet per second. So the best I could do so far is just under one hundred and thirty feet per second. That's not very good. The snubber circuit works good, the driver works good, and the trigger works good. Something is holding this down. The first two stages of the SCR drive will send that projectile about 106 feet per second. So there's a major drag and I would suspect it's the timing. I made a new set of spacers that gives more space between the trigger diode and the coil. And I'll run some tests and see what kind of results that we get. So with this new spaced coil setup at 100 volts on the IGBT stage, I blew out the first IGBT stage and the ninth stage. It looks like this setup doesn't work very well. Best velocity was 109 feet per second. This will be a test run with the middle sized trigger spacer. I just blew the first two IGBT stages with 140 volts input. Velocity 116 feet per second. So the conclusion from this series of experiments is that 
a slightly shorter coil, a little more inductance, and we do not need advanced trigger timing. For those interested, this is the trigger circuit that I use on the coil gun. The Osram SHF203 photodiodes work real nice. There is the LM311 comparator. There's the resistor network for the trigger that's with 15 volts on the input. The comparator uses 15 volts and this diagram shows us triggering an SCR. As shown this will work fine with those hockey puck SCRs. It works just fine with the 2N2222 as a driver. If you want to use a driver ch chip such as the TC4422, eliminate the transistor and just replace that with a driver chip.